this is Peach Pellin from Lanica. Um, some of you might have seen recently the latest video we uploaded showing a dragon animating using Animo sprites. I'm going to show you very quickly the process we use to create that. So you can see here I have Lanica Animo sprites and the project was created previously. Oops, already running it. So here obviously we start with the editor and here we've added in the various claws, each leg, wings, everything you see here. So that's all in the sprite sheet. Then if you go to Skeletal Animations Editor, this is where you'll add the bones. And you can see here that we've already added bones connecting the head here, the ear, the neck, various parts of the body, the tail, the legs and the claws. And the wings are also animated. Uh, but this is using the frames here rather than actually using the skeletal animation. So we have one animation called Fly, and that's shown right here. So we can preview it within Animo Sprites just by clicking the play button after selecting the animation, and we can see what the dragon will look like there. We can also, for a better view, hide the bones. So once you are happy with it, you can uh, stop that and you can go publish and down here you're just going to want to make sure that you have these selected which is the default uh, this isn't going to export any bodies simply because we didn't add a physics body but here skeletal animations editor bone structures poses animations and animations up here um, I'm not going to click publish because I did this just before but you will and I published mine to a folder called Dragon. So you'll see here bodies, skeletons, various XML files, and sprite sheets of different resolutions depending on what device you're going to target. So then we're going to open Lanica Animo Code, create a new workspace, and in my case I already have the project set up, Dragon Project, so we'll drop it in there. Select Platino, we won't run it immediately, instead I'm going to expand this. And under resources, you'll see a front and a background. We have the, uh, the various libraries needed by Animo Sprites in here. And if you look under graphics, you'll see here, that's where we've dropped everything from inside the Dragon folder. So we've added the subfolders, bodies and skeletons and here's the top level XML stuff again from in, in the folder you exported to. If we look in app.js see the standard Platino stuff adding a background and resizing it here loading the correct uh, resolution sprite sheet depending on the size of the, de of the device the app is loaded on and up here I've selected the animation to load is fly and very simply here we simply create a skeleton with file and it grabs the suffix from uh, up here and we print a few statements here just saying uh, that the animation started, the animation stopped. We do have a sample that shows you how to uh, pause, resume, replay, all of that good stuff in our sample code under Animo Sprites. Uh, so here, right before the game starts, we say my skeleton, play animation, and when we load it, apparently my modules are not up to date. There we go. And now this should be set to quick build, which will display here. And as you can see, it's simulating the Retina iPhone, and it's loaded the appropriate size sprite for that. And this is how we animated the dragon using Animo sprites. Mm -hmm.